Hey guys, in this video I am going to talk about structural isomerism. So we already know that structural isomerism is observed when compounds have same molecular formula but they have different structure or different structural formula. So if we take two examples CH3, CH2, OH and CH3, OCH3. You can see that the first compound has two carbon atoms and three to five one six hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. And similarly, the second compound here also has two carbon atoms, six hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So we can check that their molecular formula is same. And so to decide whether they are structural isomers or not, what we do is we look at the connections. If the connections are same, the structure will be same. Whereas if the connections are different, structures will be different. So look at the connections of atoms. Look at the oxygen atom in the first compound. And you can say that this oxygen atom is connected to a hydrogen on the right and a carbon atom on the left. Whereas look at this oxygen atom in the second compound. It is connected to two different carbon atoms, one on the left and one on the right. So the connections in these two compounds for the oxygen atom are different and therefore they are structural isomers. So what we need to check is first look at the molecular formula whether that is same or not and then look at the connections. If the connections are different then we have structural isomers. Alright now let's look at the types of structural isomers. There are different criteria on the basis of which we can identify the structures and connections. We have the chain isomers, the position isomers, then we have metamerism, functional isomerism, Tautomerism and the sixth type of structural isomerism is ring chain isomerism. It is basically a type of chain isomerism but there is a ring involved so we are giving it a separate category. So structural isomerism has these flavors and in the coming videos we are going to take a look at each one of them and explain what that means. See you in the next video.